Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the CDL Driving Academy podcast. And today we have two special guests where we're going to be discussing what their journey was like once they got the CDL license and why they're interested in actually opening up a truck driving school. These two guests are from Ohio and they're actually super interested in expanding their empire in the trucking market by opening up a driving academy as a franchisee. We're going to get to ask them a bunch of different questions on why they think that is the best option for them to get them to their financial goals. How we doing, Michaela and Darius? How we doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Welcome from Welcome. coming all the way from Ohio. How was the trip? It was good. It was good. Uh, West Virginia, it seemed like we were there for a while. I don't know why, but just driving through, it seemed like it took a while to get through West Virginia. But no, it was a good trip. It was a smooth ride. We took turns. She drove a couple hours, then I took over. You got a CEO driver, so this is nothing for you, right? Yeah. Right. Well, That's I got off we work the night before, so I was tired. Uh -huh. I, we left right after I got off at like what, 4 a.m. Okay. I drive night, so mm. I did as much as I could, and he took over, so I was asleep. All right. So. Cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. We, You know, she did like three hours, and I just took over and just, you know, went the rest of the way because I knew she just got off work. So Fair enough. Beautiful. You guys make a good team. And so you guys are planning to be partners in um, opening up a driving academy franchise. Is that correct? Correct. So before we actually get to that, you guys both have your CDL license? Yes. You guys look pretty young. How old are you guys? Um, I'm 24. 24? I'm 25. 25. Beautiful. And how long ago did you guys get your CDL and why? Um, I got mine a year and a half ago. So okay. in October. I took my test on Halloween. Wow. So nice. um, Was it a trick or was it a treat? Treat. It was a treat. It was a yes. treat. I did, at first it was coming off as a trick. The guy, when I did my... um. What is it? We got a name of 90 parts. The inspection, inspection, he was like, is there anything else you want to say? Anything else you want to go through? I was like, oh, no. He's like, I'm just tricking. You only missed five of them. But he he was scaring me, I thought, because you know you have to yes. pass that before you move on. So I was anxious, but I, I passed it. Beautiful. So How about yourself? I just got into it. because I, I've had my CDLs for like a year now. So I've got them last year. And then I just, I've, I've been wanting to get in trucking for a while. I didn't know where it was going to lead to, but I know I wanted to get in trucking because I wanted to eventually, like, you know, get into business with trucking and okay. like, see where that led to. So I finally saved up enough to get, you know, flat before the class and I, uh, you know, got my CDLs and then just got on. I was blessed to get on at a Old Dominion starting out, you know, they're home every night. I got a local position. So beautiful. Wow. It was pretty cool. Right out normally, of school. Too. Right out of school. You normally don't get that. Like Michaela, she went Told on the road. Blessed. Yeah. That's, so, that's very cool. Even though I'm working like 12 hour days, but it's okay. <laughs> hey, any, that's any, that's okay. Anything that you want to do that's big in life, you got to put in the time. Right. Because I was actually, when I went to school, I was working full time and then going to school on the weekends for three months. So I was working 12 hour shifts at as a machinist and then going to you know school on the weekends for eight hours. So I was just super like just focused on my goals and everything and accomplishing that. Nice. Okay. For three months straight. And, yeah, it took a little bit, but I got them. So. So what I heard was that you wanted to get your CDL license because ultimately you have this desire to be a business owner. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. So why CDL, why the trucking industry as a business owner versus anything else? Why not open up a restaurant or something? Well, for one, I do like driving. So that was something that well, I went to trucking route because like whenever we take trips and stuff, I'm the one that normally drives. You know, like when I'm talking about family trips, like go on vacation or something, I'm, okay. I'm like always open to drive. So or when I want a group of friends, I'm – Normally a designated driver, so I just I like driving in general. So I just thought trucking would be a good route because I'm good at like maneuvering, like just figuring like for example, when I went to motorcycle class like a while back, one of the instructors said, like, you're really good at riding motorcycles and we can put you in demo videos to show people how to ride. So yes. that's how I felt about like trucking too. I felt like, you know, I'm you're just, natural. Yeah, I'm just naturally, you know, good at figuring it out and stuff. So how about you, Michaela? Why did you want to get your CDL? Um, actually it's cause my mom, my mom, the one who suggested, like you said, I went to college five years. It was COVID. So I did the extra year of basketball, but I got my business degree. But when I looked on there, everything was office jobs. I'm not a office type of girly. Mm -hmm. I don't want to sit in an office all day. That's just what I prefer. And I was already, um, doing my clothing brand. Um, I got a vending machine business and you know, my overall goal is just to be an entrepreneur, getting into properties or whatever with my mom and them. So my mom just suggested that. I don't I don't want to say it's about money, but I don't want to lie. Trucking give you the opportunity to make more money. And it's that weekly, that guaranteed. And also I was the only child. So I wouldn't say that freedom, but you know, being out over the road, getting that experience, getting that independent, because my I am a I am the baby of the family. So my my mom and them do hold my hand. 
the whole way. So being out in different countries, being far away, but that's that's basically why I got it was because of my mom. She know I like to drive. And once I looked into the numbers, I'm a numbers person. Mm. Once I seen how much you can make compared to what they had online for An office biz, job. Yeah, office job. I'm like, sign me up. Beautiful. Nice. And I end up loving it. I, I actually I like driving. Beautiful. Being it, by it, myself. Is it so peaceful? It's peaceful to me. I can nice. sit in silence. At first, I needed the music, that podcast. Now I could drive and just sit and absorb what's around Your own me. Thoughts. Yeah. Amazing. So that's a, a lot of reasons why people actually get their CDL licenses because they want to make more money, right? And a lot of people have that desire of having that like American dream business where they want to come become a business owner. And the CDL is a great stepping stone for a lot of those people. Um, so so you guys got your CDL license. You guys went through a school, I'm guessing, correct? Uh, I'm sure there was some good, some bad things about that experience itself, but it definitely helped you learn to where you are today. And then you actually started driving for about a year, and now it's time to expand your empire, right? So it's time to really get into that next level. So what was the thought process between, hey, let's just start a trucking company versus let's open up a truck driving school? So he will have to hit off on that. If you didn't know, Darius is the one who brought me on board because my entrepreneurship, I'm not going to lie, it had nothing to do with trucking. Mm. My mom did suggest, I know when you get into trucking, you do learn about that owner op route so I was going to eventually start going there but my businesses and the the image and view that I have for myself didn't have to do anything with trucking makes sense so cool. Darius is the one who bought me on board with thinking about a trucking company and also thinking about doing trucking franchise I love trucking that much but my passion that's not what my what my like real passion at like what I really see myself doing makes sense so tell us Darius what was the cost comparison or like how did you just find your head Hey, let me just do like everybody else, open up a bunch of trucking companies, which is like get trucks that work underneath me versus opening up a truck driving school. So, yeah, at first it was going to be a, a trucking company, but I was just doing research online and stuff. And then I thought of ways like I've always thought of a trucking school, too, like in the back of my head. But I just well, I was first moving forward with a trucking company at first. And I was just going to you know, buy one truck, be an owner operator for a little while and then try to get somebody on, underneath me to like run for me and then maybe expand like two trucks and just keep getting bigger and bigger. But instead I was just, it kind of like, I've reached out, like I've done my research online, just looking up into schools. And I was thinking of just opening up a school, like, you know, just calling it snow something related to my name and just open up a school. And then I came across, you know, driving Academy. And um, that's when I was like, I, I reached out to the first number I called, I think it was John Parker or yeah. I've reached out to him one time, and then right when I was thinking about moving forward with the trucking school, not trucking school, uh, the trucking business, he actually had reached out to me and said, hey, we actually are looking to uh, expand and, like, you know, because I, I don't watch all your videos, but I watch some of them, so I kind of got an idea, like, y'all are, you know, trying to franchise. So he, John Parker, kind of explained it to me and how everything worked, and I was like, wow, that's actually, I'm glad, you know, he actually reached out to me right now instead of, me starting something else and then not even like knowing about it. But when he explained it to me, it just, it just made more sense. And it's just like, it sounded like a better idea because it's a franchise and it's something that, you know, it's already y'all are like the McDonald's of, you know, the That's trucking right. school, trucking school. So I just thought it'd be a good decision to uh, move forward that way instead of going to, uh, you know, starting from the very bottom with the trucking company. Cause, and then I'm hearing about the rates can be like really bad too for like, you know, owner operators at the moment. Right. Yeah. So, so that kind of stirred me away. There's from a lot that. of pros and cons from yeah. kind of going through one or the other, right? So the trucking company itself, it might be a little bit cheaper to start off because a lot of guys start off small. One little truck, is, one truck is what you need. And then they plan to expand that way, right? right. Uh, to open up a trucking school is going to be a little bit more money up front. The cons on the trucking side that we see for a lot of people, one, it's you have very little control of what you can charge because it's based on the rates in the market. So when the rates drop, like your costs stay the same, but you can't really control how much money you're making. On the trucking school side, you're providing a service for the individuals and the public, which means you get to charge the pricing that fits your business model and continues to grow. Also, when it comes to the profit margins from both individual uh, opportunities, trucking company has a lot more expenses to operate. And the actual, what you're gaining is not as much, which means the margins are a lot smaller. On the trucking school side, once you have a certain scale, you can have very high margins in business itself. And because at the end of the day, you're selling education. And it's not like you have to restock or get 
get, it's not like a grocery store where every time you sell a can of Coca-Cola, you got to go buy another can. It's the same information over and over again. So just that alone makes it a much better business model. A lot of people in your shoes, they kind of see the psychological side of things and that feel good approach, right? Do I want a company that uh, I'm hiring truck drivers, which is great, or do I want a company where I'm developing truck drivers for across the country and actually changing people's lives? Because we have over 10,000 graduates of, of our locations here and like the countless stories I can tell you and how good it feels to go to sleep at night, knowing that you change all these lives is just like amazing, right? So I'm definitely happy that you guys made that right choice um, from a business point of view. I, I tell a lot of people, I have all the trucks, I have all the students, I have all the instructors, I can open up a trucking company tomorrow. But the reason I don't is because just from a business point of view, it makes so much more sense to grow and expand the truck driving school side. Uh, one, you're helping a lot of people out. And two, you can make a lot more money doing that with a lot less headaches. Make sense? Yes. Beautiful. So that being said, um, where do you guys plan to open up a driving academy at? Like the exact location? Uh, city. Cincinnati. Cincinnati, yeah. Cincinnati, Ohio. Ohio. Who they? Who they? Who they? Who they think going to beat those Bengals? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so that being said, why Cincinnati? Is that where you guys are from? Yes. Born and raised for me. Yep. And how did you guys meet? Well, I remember him. I don't know if he remember me, but I went to Catholic school all the way to seventh grade. So I met him at White Oak. You went to White Oak, correct? Yes. Yeah, yes, we went to White Oak. Oak. Then we went to Corrine High School together. Cool. So. I didn't really hang out much. I played sports, you know. If he would, then you do what? Uh, in high school, yeah. I got into the machine trade. Yeah, machine. In high school, yeah, so, so we was on like two different yeah. sides of the She's building. More on the sports side. <laughs> sports I was more side. like trying to figure out career. What I'm gonna get into in my high school, you know, just figuring everything out. But we knew of each other, and you know, when we did ever like talk to each other, it was just, you know. She's funny, so I'm funny. So it's just like we always laughed and just had a good time whenever we did talk to each other. Now it's so. time to be business partners right. in this new venture. Very cool. So uh, knowing that you guys wanted to be uh, get into this opportunity, and I know you had this thought, hey, what if I just open up my own school from scratch? What made you really say, because you guys just went through a site visit today, you guys we kind of pulled back the curtains for people who were interested in becoming a franchisee, walk you through an entire process where we educate you we make sure we vet you they got these guys went through all that and last step is doing a site visit which you guys just went through right and we kind of pulled back the curtains and showed you how we operate and show you our secret sauce now knowing what you know now who should open up their own school versus just joining a franchise like what are the pros and cons for one or the other First, well, yeah, first, yeah. the pros for me, like I was when the site was amazing. We he took us through a tour of how would it be like being a student, and when I say when it's once it was over, I had no questions. I felt like that's a green flag for me. Instead of asking questions, the instructors didn't stumble off with not one word. It was confident. They knew the information. It seemed legit. And also, my another thing that I liked it they didn't try to sell it to me. They just told me the information. It didn't feel like. Y'all was trying to trick me. Y'all wasn't lying to me. Exactly what y'all said is exactly what it was. So from the student point of view, from the franchise or trying to be a franchise owner point of view, I feel like it was great. The system that Jonathan have, I can't compare it to no other. I've never been nowhere else, but I feel like it's a, a, a one-stop shop. That's one of the things I've been using lately, a one-stop shop. I feel like what he offer and what he shows um, – you don't have to think. So I feel like that's the best thing because some people think their business is successful or they see numbers and want to expand it, but there's no system. Correct. When you're chasing that dollar, a lot of people don't have systems. They would rather have that, head, that dollar with that headache instead of, you know, it growing over time, you know. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Jonathan put the work in and what he showed us was, I feel like it's too easy, actually. So <laughs> I feel like it's, it's too easy. We don't have to work for anything. Well, the work has to be done, yeah. but the system is there, right? So we like to say we give people the playbook. All you got to do is run the plays, do exactly what we ask you to do, and there should be no reason why you are not successful. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's the, fran the way the franchise model works is it's very beneficial for our franchisees. One, they don't have to really worry about branding. Our brand is known nationwide. We've had students fly in from Hawaii, Alaska, and all those places to come to Jersey, uh, which means everybody knows us around the area. Two, the whole system side that you guys saw today, right? That software that runs the entire business, that probably cost me over $200,000 to build. And that's something that you guys don't have to do at all, right? And the whole thought process of, okay, what's the contract look like? What is the curriculum going to look like? All that's done for you, which makes it a lot easier. Does that make all sense? 
Yeah, so you, you got the whole blueprint to it. It's just making sure you got the right people that are going to want to make people want to come in and, you know, be like positive attitude and something like that. It's just like you have the blueprint for everything else. It, there's no way it's hard to – it's going to be very hard to fail unless you're just not like – Taking it serious or something. Because, if, you, if you don't do what we tell you, then right. it's kind of like doing it on your own. But if you do exactly what we do, and you guys see anything that we've asked you to do is what we do here, and that's how we prove it. We're not here to we're, – we're a company with integrity, which means we do what we say we will do, right? Yeah. Compared to, like you said, starting on your own, it's like getting those headaches. Like you said, you built this system to take away that – The headaches. To grow. You have no, the reason yeah. I'm bald is because I had all them headaches, right? So all them years of working and putting my head against the wall and trying to figure things out seven days a week. Now people coming in don't have to do any of that stuff. So what are your guys' vision on global like expansion? So is the goal open up this location, see how it works, and then be good to go? Or do you want to continue to expand to multiple? We want to continue to expand to multiple just because it's like the opportunity's there. And if everything goes great, well, everything will go great. It's just like, why not take on more, you know, if you if you can. It's not saying, like, overwhelm yourself, but why not take on that next step in the process of being successful? And I think that is going to be the next step is expanding. And, like, there's other locations like Louisville, Kentucky, and other locations that are open that's near us that we would love to, you know, if we can. Capitalize on it. Yes. Yeah. yes. What he said, but me, for me, what he said, but mine's just got to make sense. My mom always told me anything you do. It got to make sense. So Does like it have said, to make sense or it's got to make dollars? Both ah, for me. Beautiful. Make sense and dollars because yeah. I tell people ain't nothing free in this world. People make it seem like money's not everything, but you w- water costs. You have to pay for this water, right? Mm-hmm. You can't survive in this world without water. But, yeah, the only way for me to want to expand or move forward with this location or other locations is it have to make sense. 100%. We have to profit, have to make sense. We have to. Your passion have to be there because, like you say, you have to give something to try to see if it's your calling or not. Correct. Because I like to live my purpose out. I want to want to make sure I'm doing what I'm called to do. So I agree. And I believe, like, my personal opinion when it comes to what's – why are we put on this earth? And I think it's to kind of chase our potential, right? And at the stage that we're in, we never know what our full potential is because once we get to that next level, then we're able to see over that hill and say, oh, hey, there's that next next goal. That being said, what are some of your big goals that you guys are after as individuals? Like, um, do you guys want to live that big, lavish lifestyle, the private planes and the yachts and that kind of stuff? Do you want a much more simple lifestyle? What, what are you guys after? I just want to be like, I want to have a good work-life balance. Okay. In life, that's something that I'm big on. Just having to, uh, you know, be there when my family needs me or when, you know, I'm needed. Just be able to be there and just have the freedom to... Uh, you know, it's different than if you're clocking in and out every day and you only get two weeks vacation all year. I just feel like I'm very talented and there's a lot more to life than just going into a job and just clocking in and out for the rest of your life and only having two weeks off a year. I just feel believe so balance is important yes. to you. Beautiful balance. So you want the the freedom and I agree with you hundred percent. We live on an economic planet, right? In order to have freedom you need some money. You have to understand the whole money game of things. So and people going into business, they have this vision of, hey, yes, I want to make more money, but I want this freedom. For most people, their that experience is like, okay, let me have another kid so I can have more freedom. It's the same ki- same thing because there's no systems, there's no processes, and you're just tied into that business. One of the benefits that you guys are going to have being franchisees is all you got to do is plug and play, which means, yes, there's going to be some time period where you're going to sacrifice in the beginning. But if you put in the work, you will get that freedom that you're after. So it's cool that that's your goal. How about you? Um, I always, I always like simple lives, probably because I grew up having everything. So I don't know. I'm just like right in the middle. I've seen other sides of the world because that's what my mom, my mom grew up in, you know, inner city. So she made that step to take me out of inner city. So I guess I'm a suburban kid. So I was able to see that side of the world while seeing where she came from, um, my grandma worked herself into um, uh, uh, a stroke, so but I'm not saying you got to do that to make it pay off. But now my grandma's a retired millionaire, so I just see the work ethics you got to put in. So I just want that, like he said, that balance. I don't mind working. I've been around it my whole life, so it's actually a, a bad trait that I have, and I hear it all the time. But I would rather work than sit around. Correct. So I, if when I feel like I'm sitting around not doing nothing. It's like, it felt like I'm behind. And I'll challenge you on that. 
people probably giving you that advice are not living the life that you want to live. So one of the filters that changed my life was I only take advice from people who have what I already want. And if they don't have that, how can they give me the advice that I need to get there, right? Yeah. So it's very important to really understand that. My wish for you guys in this business will be to follow exactly the game plan, be extremely successful, and change the trajectory of your family's future. You guys can be the one that they look back to generations from now and be like, we have this because of these people right over here in our family tree. Yeah. Right? My goal is for everybody to think bigger, dream bigger, and have the tools necessary and the mindset necessary to get that done. Right. And that's why our mission is to help a million people get on the road to freedom. Right. So as our mission of a company is to help people get their CDL license, change their lives, just like the CDL license has improved your guys' lives. Now the next generation for me is helping individuals like you open up a school so they can help out their local community. And they, that whole ripple effect just continues to grow and grow and grow. Cause the more good you put in the world, the more good that's going to keep coming back. Is that fair? Correct. Beautiful. So that's another thing. It's just more rewarding. Like just having a franchise school is like more rewarding than actually to me owning your own business and just hiring people because you're actually changing someone's life yes. because they're coming through your program and they're learning it. And then they're taking that with them to change their career. So it's like you're changing people's lives. And I think like I help out with st uh, people with disabilities and stuff. Nice. I'm like a provider. So I'm always trying to help out people. So I think this is going to be a, important and she's like that too she's you know as a provider as well so it's something we also have in common so it's just like you know we're changing people's lives in different ways than you know we can even think that's right so. and I, like and you guys i can't wait for you guys to have those first couple stories of people i've this one individual came into school couldn't afford lunch when he was coming into school was eating popcorn because that's all he can eat right he worked his butt off he got a cdo license Month after getting a CDL license, he came back and he bought the whole company lunch because he was just so grateful. And you're going to get countless stories of people like that. And you're really going to be like, wow, I'm going to go to bed tonight knowing that I'm doing good in the world. And that's just an amazing feeling. Domino effect. That's right. Yeah. So if you guys are interested in actually opening up your own truck driving school and you don't want to do it on your own, or maybe you want to expand in the trucking market, but you don't really want to fight with the rates and the whole trucking company side of the BS things. Maybe becoming a franchisee like these two individuals are going to become might be the best option for you. If you are interested in learning more about how to be a franchisee and how to qualify, go to our website, cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash franchising, cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash franchising. See if the market's available in your local area and because we are expanding pretty quickly. I think so far we have like 14 or 15 territories across the country and a lot of those big cities are being taken first. So the faster you do it, the faster we can actually lock down that territory for you and you can dominate your market because we don't compete. We dominate. dominate. That's right. All right. So I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully we get you on the road to freedom and we help you help thousands of people in your local area get on the road to freedom by becoming a driving academy franchisee. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.